so okay so I hope my lighting is good y'all I hope that I don't look all greasy and shit <laughs> all right so this is like so totally a random video I haven't made a video in a long time it's been it's been quite a while I think about November is no it's February and it's been since November since I made a video um, I've kind of just been thinking about like life and what I really want to do and what I want out of life and just let me come back let me like I feel like y'all really can't see me let me see let me get this right let me, let's get this right okay because I, I want y'all to be able to see me like in the right in the right lighting okay so that's a little bit better I, it's beautiful outside the sun is shining um and i just feel really good i'm so happy so um i have been working at i've been employed um nine to five been working in corporate america for about six months and um uh, kind of just want to tell y'all what's been going on in my life and just kind of like catch y'all up on everything and want to kind of bring y'all in and I want you guys to kind of understand how I've been feeling and what's been going on so um for those of you who don't know or for those of you who are kind of new to my channel or for some stalkers who are probably watching my video and they're like what the hell is going on with Crystal and I want to know and they know that I'm not going to tell them <laughs> got some Carmax putting some Carmax on my dry ass lips so I've been working in corporate America for about six months and um, for those of you who don't know I do have a home-based business I had my son three years ago and I decided instead of going back to work that I was gonna stay home with him go to school and I decided afterwards to start my own business and um, I loved it I really do like love what I do I love my business I do make like treat sweet treats for events I do stuff for events birthday parties etc etc so um and if you guys want to check that out um be sure to just like follow me on all of my social media networks which is in the descriptions and all of that kind of stuff is down below so um yeah I've been working in corporate America long story short I hate it it's just not for me I don't think that I'm comfortable with working for somebody working for someone else when I know how to go out and make money and do things on my own so um and it, it definitely is harder when you are self-employed and when you are in business for yourself because you are the boss and if you're not moving and you're not making any adjustments nothing is going to change you're not going to get paid and a lot of people the majority of people don't want to take that risk they're not willing to take a risk for happiness and um yeah so long story short i am leaving corporate america and i am going to continue to pursue my dream of happiness and i am so liberated i'm so happy i feel like this is one of the best decisions that i have made in my life i am grateful i am extremely grateful for um, the opportunity to be able to have worked there and you know mind you this was my first experience with working in corporate America and um, I didn't like it <laughs> I didn't like it and the horror stories of you know people who work nine to fives and they hate it and they hate their jobs and it just became a reality to me and um, it's not that I hated it to where I just oh it was just like I just I hated it. I, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. Like I, I, I hated it. I, there's just no other way to put it. And um, it's not. It doesn't really have anything to do with the company. It's just I am an independent person. I'm an Aquarius. I'm free spirit. I don't like being in a box all day long. And um, yeah, so I am leaving corporate America and I am pursuing self-employment. I'm going to continue doing that. I've got a lot of things lined up this year. Um, but the purpose of me making this video is for to to catch you guys up. I feel like I'm all over the place because I have so much shit that I want to say. And 
I have something that I got to go do later on in, in a little bit and I don't want to be late for it but the sun is shining y'all it's a beautiful day outside and I feel so good and I have been these past few months I have kind of just been like stuffing my brain with personal development books and I've been watching a lot of um you know motivational speakers on YouTube Les Brown Jim Rohn like I have been cramming nothing but positive energy in to my brain and I don't know I've just I am I am becoming the person that I have always wanted to be I am becoming the person that a lot of people never become because they're too afraid and they work at these nine to five jobs and they're okay with it and they're they're not okay with it they hate it but they're not willing they don't hate it bad enough to where they're willing to take a risk i'm actually taking a risk right now from leaving my job in corporate america to pursue something that might not even make any money it might not even pay me as near as much as i could make in corporate America and mind you I wasn't really getting paid that much but it was a secure job and it was something that I could count on it was dependable and I just I just don't want that I don't and I feel like when I'm there I am this person that I don't want to be and that's kind of what you have to look at when you're doing something whether you work and you make a lot of money or not you have to kind of look at what you're becoming who who are you becoming are you becoming a person that is happy are you becoming the person that you really want to be and the only person that knows the answer to that question is you so i decided to be in take control of my life and get on that damn this this life this horse of life that we have um every day that we're granted every day and i'm riding the hell out of her like i'm riding life like a stallion and i'm taking it because why should i be unhappy why should i live a life and work somewhere where i'm unhappy especially if i know and i believe in myself true enough to go out and really be something that i really want to be and um i just i really just love what i do i love i love being free more than anything like that's what i'm fighting for freedom 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 that's what I'm fighting for, y'all. So, enough about my job. I don't want to get all depressed and all of that kind of thing. And just, like, you know, be trying to... I'm just really trying to explain to you guys, like, how I've grown. And then you can look at all of my old videos and see how far I've come in my personal development. I look different. I talk different. I'm literally not even the same person anymore. Like, that, that person in those videos... It's still me, the person that I really want to be. That's why I like doing YouTube. Because YouTube kind of allowed me to be this person that I wanted to be. That I've always wanted to be. And I am literally like becoming that person. Not just on camera, but off camera. I'm becoming the person that I've always wanted to be. And I'm so fortunate and I'm just so thankful to... I'm just grateful even though I hated that job I'm so grateful to have went through the experience of learning that that's not for me and that there is better and that I'm not like those other people that work there and they've been there for years and years and years and they hate their jobs and are overwhelmed and are overworked and are underpaid like that is the person that I'm not that I'm trying to avoid becoming so i'm i'm just i'm just eternally grateful i'm just so happy y'all i have been so miserable working there i have i just i i've i've become a person that i didn't want to i would be t i mean i'm just whew, like personal development and reading books is what you need to do like with your life um you you really really need to read 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 like you need to everybody needs to read one book a week <laughs> every day every day there's so much knowledge and there's so many little secrets about how to make your life better in books that you you can read to 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 grow yourself and to grow your brain 
But um, like I said, I'm going like all down the rabbit hole. I'm all over the place. My channel has no structure. I know that that is what it is. Um, but I'm going to be sharing some, some things about what I'm planning on doing this year. I just turned 28 and yes, your girl is getting old. I'm getting like really old, y'all. And the thing about it is that I look younger. I look younger now than I did when I was 18 years old. I'm 28 and I was 18 10 years ago and I look younger than I did when I was 18. So, um, moving on for all of you hair junkies, this is a half wig that I have in my head because I know somebody is going to ask. Um, I do get a lot of compliments on my hair, a lot. And this is a half wig. This is the, it's not, it's the Batik, it's, it's by Otre. I'll put it somewhere in here. But I think it's the, not the Peruvian, because the Peruvian is like my favorite one. This is like my favorite one now, though. The, the other one. I can't explain it, y'all don't know. But, <laughs> um, this is the hair that I got on my head. This is a half wig, and I have my hair out in the front. Um, I don't really, these are not fresh curls, but this is kind of what I do every single day. I take these little rollers and I wrap my hair up, just section it and curl it and put it up in the morning, bobby pin it and go. I don't have time for all that extra stuff. Um, maybe when I decide, I mean, I like different hairstyles. I like to change my hair up a lot. Um, I don't really kind of just, I like something that looks good on me though. I like something that works for me. And I was trying to make stuff work for me over the years. I spent so much money on hair and wigs and weaves and bundles and Peruvian and blah, 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 blah. And I just have come down to face the simple fact that cheap half wigs work for me. And I'm going to make it work for me as long as I can. And I think that they look really good on me. They look really natural. That's what I'm, I'm trying to continue to do. I like natural stuff. I like being able to show my edges because I have, you know, really pretty hair. Y'all, I have a scar right there because... My skin is like oily and whatever. I'm not going to go into that. But I like to, you know, pull my own hair out and be able to be more creative in how I wear my hair. And I just, I hate seeing like women and, you know, truth be told, if you love, love what you love, you love what you love. But I just don't like seeing girls who wear weed, wigs and weaves and they're not, their wigs are literally wearing them. They're not wearing the hell out of their hair. Their hair is wearing them. You can tell that it's a wig. And we live in a time where everybody is wearing wigs. So <laughs> you kind of like need to make it look like it's growing out of your head. Unless you just kind of like the prepackaged look. Which I don't think anybody should like. But then again, I am not like everybody else. So um, I'm going to be making a lot of videos, you guys. I, I don't. I'm not going to give a date. I'm not going to like start putting a date up, but I do have a lot of things going on this year. I plan on definitely getting back on YouTube. That's definitely something that I want to do. I want to share my story with a lot of people. I've been going through a lot these past few months and I, I feel like my story can help somebody else and um, motivate and inspire. And that's what I want to do. I want to share joy to the world and the best way that I can. So I plan on doing that. I plan on going to a lot of different networking events. So that means that I plan on traveling. Me and my husband, we want to go to California this year. We've got um, some family out there and we want to see them. But not only is it just about visiting family, it's just about getting the hell out and, you know, going and see things and doing things. So that's what I plan on doing this year. Um, I definitely want to get into real estate. I'm thinking about doing that. I want to take some real estate classes. Um, I'm working on a few things with my business. And I'm developing a lot of great things that's coming out of that. Um, I do want to help a lot of women lose weight. That's something that, some, that's something that I want to do. Because I've struggled with um, you know, weight gain and trying to lose weight for years. I mean years, y'all. It's been a long time. I've always had problems with weight. And now, as you can see, I have lost a lot of weight I have lost almost 80 pounds I think I'm right at 80 pounds and I have just I'm just 
my life has just oh my goodness and all all I really had to do was change my mindset that's all I had to do all I had to do was rewire this thing up here and that's really all it takes that's all it takes I mean you could go through the motions of doing something and do it great but if you don't change your mindset and you don't change the way you think and you don't change the way you look at things nothing is really going to change for you you're never going to be happy never going to be happy you've got to change your mindset you've got to change the way you think because you are in control of your thoughts your thoughts are the most powerful things on this planet everything that you have every this this roller that i have in my hand this carmax the cell phone all came from a thought it all came from somebody's um their subconscious and it it be it became something so i mean you kind of just have to look at your life i don't care what situation you're in i don't care if you're on drugs i don't care if you have 30 kids i don't care if you just gotten a divorce it all you you can control like you can manifest happiness you can create happiness you can like it's not a superpower like it's something it's it can be magical it is very 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 magical and very spiritual and if you don't like that kind of stuff I'm sorry, but I mean, that's the type of thing that happens when you change your mindset. You, things will start to happen for you and you're like, wow, you know, things are happening for me. And it's all about the way you think. You have to change the way you think. You have to, and another thing you have to do, and I'm, I'm going to make a whole video on this. Like, you have to get away from negative people. You have to get away from, um... This, you have to get away from that. You have to get away from negative people because if you're not, if you're hanging around negative people, you are positioning yourself to think the same exact way that those negative people think. So, um, and I don't want to keep going on. I don't want to ramble because I know y'all are like, everybody got a short ass attention span nowadays. Don't nobody want to sit and, and listen to anything. And that's the problem. It really is the problem. Um, but I don't want to take too much of your time. Besides, I do have something that I need to go do. Um, but I just wanted to get here and just share this with you guys. And to let you know that I'm here. I'm well. I'm growing. I'm happy. I'm glowing. I'm becoming the woman that I've always wanted to be. So, get used to seeing my face. Because it's going to be here. I want to get into a lot of things. I want to get into some photography. I want to start doing some modeling. I want to do a lot of things. And who's to say if I don't do a lot of the things that I just told you guys, I really don't even want to, I didn't, I really don't like telling people what my plans are because I just kind of feel like that's some unseen, you know, blocker, but I'm going to go ahead and just be positive and think positive and put it out in the universe and get this, my face from being greasy because it's greasy. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I am here. I'm well. I'm happy. I'm losing more weight. I'm a healthier person. I'm a happier person. I'm a better mother. I'm a better wife. I'm a better friend. I'm, I'm a better person just all around. And I have gotten a lot of negativity out of my life. And it has done nothing but great things for me. So, I just want to encourage you, whoever you are, to keep going, to keep striving to not let the negativity get to you, to open your mind and to rewire your brain and um, to think happy things and to go for it and take risks and pursue happiness. So that is it. And um, if you want to contact me, feel free to hit me up. And I will see you guys on the next video. And until then, peace.